My message for today is entitled, The Devil's Religion. Let's start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for on the listeners. I pray you bless them and help them receive your word today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so the one thing that the devil wants you to do is to follow his way of religion. And that is simply trusting in your works. And one of the things that me um, false teachers, false prophets, and may fake Christians do who are not saved, uh, they like to take scriptures out of context to justify their devilish doctrine. Here we can see that this is the very exact nature of the devil himself when you type Jesus in the wilderness. So if you're following along, follow, we go to Matthew chapter 4 and we begin reading verse 6 and it says, And said unto him, if thou be son of God, cast thyself down. For as when he shall give angels charge concerning thee, and their hands they shall bear thee up, lest ain time thou jast foot against stone. And Jesus said to him, it is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. You see, one of the things that may um, false teachers do, just like their father the devil does, they take a verse, rip it out of context, um, and teach their damnable heresy. An example of this, with the devil tempting Jesus in the wilderness, he qu quote verses 11 and 12 of Psalms 91 out of context, which many of false teachers often do. And many who call themselves Christians do this quite often. For this is what Psalms 91, starting verse 11, says, For he shall give thee each angel charge of thee, and keep thee in all thy ways. And they shall bear thee up with their hands, and thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. So you see, false teachers, like their father, the devil, don't know the word of God. They don't know how to read it, other than to just twist the scriptures for their own destruction. destruction. Follow with me to Second Peter 3.16, and reads, As also in all his epistles, Speaking of them, which things of these things, wherein are some hard to understand, but which those who are unlearned, unstable, rest as they do unto other scriptures on their own destruction. So, one th the main common things that a unsaved devil, false teacher, false brethren, a fake Christian does when you go out there and try to share a gospel with them is that they will reject it, and they'll even pull main scriptures out of context because they are unlearned and unstable and they don't know how to handle God's word so they twist it for their own destruction and how do they do that well <clears throat> just like any other religion they'll teach you to trust in your works and the reason that the devil wants you to trust in yourself trust in turning from your sins or known as Roy's is he doesn't want you to actually trust what Jesus did for you therefore you can go to hell with him. Follow with me to Matthew 7 and starting with verse 22. And May will say to me in that day, this is the Lord Jesus speaking, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name wonderful works. And thou press unto them, I never knew you, apart from me, ye that work iniquity. See, there's going to be a lot of Christians who think are safe and are not, and Jesus said there be many on that day. And notice what they said. They focused on themselves, what they did. Prophesying. Cast out devils. In his name and wonderful works. And then, de and then Jesus simply said, I don't know you. Which means they were never saved. Because ye that work, here we go, iniquity. But they trust in their works. What you, what they mean by works? Getting religious. Doing good deeds. Being a good person. Living a good life. Um... Turn from all your sins, fill in a blank. Um, you know, you got your heresy there. So, what is the true religion that is actually from God? And it's simple. It's simply just trust alone on Christ alone. It's that, it's that simple. Nothing added, nothing more, nothing less. Follow with me in five John five twenty four. Very, very, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life. 
and that shall not come to condemnation, but is passed from death to life. You see, here in the real words Christ, that you never be the moment you trust in Christ, his life, death, burial, and resurrection, you never be condemned for your sins because you pass from death and life, and Jesus said you have everlasting life. That means forever. That's once safe, always saved. So watch out for these unsaved false devils who call themselves Christians, who don't know the Lord, who have religion, but don't know Christ. And all you have to do is just believe on Christ and get saved today. And that's it. And I want to close in prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, thank you. I pray that your word will reach out to listeners who need to listen to this. Let your will be done. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.